Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to share with you how I made some really cute baby shower centerpieces for an upcoming event that I am going to be hosting. So I have my design images here. You can purchase them from Etsy. Um, as you can see, I have the original um, design and then I have the solid design. What I'm going to do is put this on a um, hundred pound of card stock and I'm going to use the black to um, give it more stability. So it's going to, I'm going to have some layers to it, probably about two layers. 100, 110, actually it's 110, I think, pound card stock. It's pretty heavy. It actually, you don't really have to even um, do layers on it, but I am going to do some layers on it. So I'm going to go ahead and I got this size to, um, a width of 7.22 by the height of 12 and the same for this here. Now you can print this out in um, Etsy, not Etsy, but if you, if you, you can print this out on Cricut, but if you're going to print it out on Cricut, you're going to have to split it and um, work around the size situation. But if you want to just save this size to your computer, then you can um, save it to your computer and print it in Word or another program. Okay, so I'm going to crop. I got my square that I want to use and I'm going to find a place that, um, where you can't really tell the difference. And I'm going to make that square big and I am going to crop her. And we are going to select the entire image along with the block. And then we are going to click um, slice. We're going to click slice over here. And it should cut it in half. Make sure we don't remove that part. She should be half. Let's make sure that we have enough of size. So I might have to go back and do everything because the side, the top is still too. Um, unless I cut it in three pieces, the top is still not the correct size. So I'm gonna go back. Let me see what size this is. Oh, this is a five by three. So yeah, clearly we can go and um, I'm just going to back everything back. I'm just going to undo everything that I did. If I click, I continuously keep printing the, um, clicking the back button. So now I'm going to come up a little higher and try again. Okay. See if this will work. Okay, this may work. So now we want to select everything and we want to slice. So once we have her sliced out, y'all, we can print it in two sessions, glue it together, and then move on from there now of course if you have a printer or a program that allows you to print um, in bigger sizes unfortunately I do not I have the Epson um, 2720 and this Cricut machine both of them are limited to um, print size limited to print size so therefore that's not gonna work and again this is not gonna work because as you can see it is 714 7.4 7.146 by 7.056. The standard size that it allow needs to be is 6.75 by 9.25. So let me get the size correct and I'll be back. Okay, so I have my block and I found the halfway mark where I'm going to hopefully evenly be able to cut her in half. I select the entire image along with that block. I click slice over at the 
in the corner down there and um, it should slice, which is just cutting the picture in half. So let's see, my computer's moving a little slow. There we go. Let me move this piece out the way. We can actually delete it, we don't need it. I'm gonna save this piece though, um, just because that'll keep me from having to do it again with the black one. So let me just pull that off right there. This is another way you can do it instead of just having a black piece. I wanna check my measurements um, to make sure that they are within the perimeters. And they are, we have 7.753 by five. So that this will allow me to cut Okay, so this is what I would need to save, okay? And um, to get this like that, I'm gonna duplicate it. So I can also, um, hold on. So I can also make a um, solid piece just like this. And to do that, you wanna duplicate your image. And it didn't do. My program is acting very glitchy right now. So then I want to go up to print and cut and do a basic cut, turn it into a basic cut. And I'm just gonna change the colors just so that they match. Okay, so they will sit on there like that. Okay, so I have two pieces to cut, the regular piece and um, this, okay? So I am ready to send this to the, um, I'm ready to send it on to the printer. So we're gonna click make it. And this is the card stock that I'm going to be using. I am using this card stock here by Pin Gear Premium Card Stock. It is 110 pounds, 92 um, in brightness, and 150 sheets. And it's pretty heavy. It's, it's really good card stock to use, okay? So that's what I'm gonna use. So let me get that ready. All right, so I got my um, paper in my printer. And I'm going to click send to printer because I am ready to print. Now I'm gonna use my, um, I'm gonna take the bleed off. I always take the bleed off, it's something I just personally do. Um, I don't know why my thing is acting so crazy. Let me go ahead and edit this out because I don't want no mistakes. So let's try this again. Sure we got the right piece that we're trying to print. There we go. I'm gonna take the bleed off. I'm gonna print it with my um, HP printer. <clears throat> Excuse me, and I'm just gonna push print. And then over here, <clears throat> it's gonna print. I'm gonna choose heavy card stock because that's what I'm using. Because I got my thing set to custom, but um, that's what I'm gonna do when we cut it out. It's gonna print now. Okay, so that's our first piece how it looks okay so i've loaded onto my mat which is a little dirty so y'all don't no, mm, don't mind that i'm gonna clean it eventually okay it's loaded into i'm gonna press the in there and then i'm gonna choose card stop um and i'm gonna go ahead and push the cut button so it's going to register it and then it's going to start scanning and then cut. So it's going to go through three different times where it prints out the perimeter of it. And you can see here what it's telling you it's gonna do three passes because this is pretty thick hard stock. Okay, so it's done cutting this out. I'm going to I'm already starting on the second one and um go ahead and pull this up. 
Yeah, I told y'all I'm not mad for that. I don't mind it, but let's pull her. Let's pull her up. Let's see how she looks. And she, that's how thick it is. This paper's pretty thick. So, anyhow, let's get the rest of this going. Okay, and now we're doing a regular cut. So we're just doing a silhouette cut. Just keep playing. Your car stock in there plain, and it's just going to do three passes on the cut of the silhouette of the images that we just cut, such as this right here. It's going to do three passes. Okay, that's all it's doing. Cutting up those so that we can have um, two layers to our girl, okay? Okay, so we have these two um, portions for our baby that we have printed out for the Cricut machine. So they look like this, if you can see. Um, this is gonna be like the front and I'm just gonna layer it with this one. So I would just put this on top of here and this on top of here, like so. Um, we use the um, Emmer's glue to seal and I got me a little spray box because I'm in the house, you wanna make sure you, it's well ventilated area. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take this and I'm gonna spray this. I'm gonna spray it and put it in this box right here. I'm going to give it a spray. You can see. And then I will line her up on here. And once I've got it lined up like I want it, I'm just gonna give it give it her a little you know put it down like this. So now she's really thick. Okay. All right, so we're gonna do the same thing again for the lower portion of her body, and then we're gonna assemble the pieces together. So now we have our two pieces. We will eventually put together, but before I do that, I'm going to spray the top coats of this with some gloss. So it could shine. So I'm gonna use this Mod Podge, um, this clear gloss right here is to super high shine. So I'm gonna spray that on here. Just spray a couple of coats. Again, I'm gonna sit it inside of my um, box. So I'm gonna sit inside of my spray box. And then I'm going to give it another spray. Shine to her, her down. Okay. 
I'm gonna make these dry. Let's get them to dry, okay? Okay, so we have our um next. Now I cut it right by the neck, uh, so I could get the correct size, but you can play around with it and find a better place to cut it. Next time, I probably will cut it um, more diagonal this way or something. I'm not sure. But what we're going to do is we're going to connect these two together and line them up. And in order to keep it more flush to the net, what I did was I cut this second layer. I cut the um, second layer piece off of the second layer, the little tip, that little lip. So there's just only one layer of this part here. So it's not as thick as the other one that I did. So I found that out, twerked that, or tweaked that not twerk, tweak that. And um, now I'm going to put some glue on this part here. It's going to use craft glue. You can use uh, whatever kind of glue that you normally want to use. And I'm going to just spray it real quick in my little spray box. Okay. So now we're going to put them together. And I'm going to get as flush as I can to this little white line. It has a little white lip right there. And I'm going to cover that up, okay? Get it pressed and let it dry. So we'll let that dry, but that's how it looks. You can't tell that much, um, depending on which way you look at it, the angle. So let that dry. Now we're going to move on to the next portion, which is I'm taking um, one of these foam blocks here. And I've taken, I've just cut it in half, so I can do um, two. So I'm gonna cut this in half, and you can slice it with um, a blade, scissors, whatever, I use scissors. And once you cut it in half, you're gonna have a portion like this, okay? It's gonna be a little messy up there, but that's fine. So this bottom part is flat, and that's the part that we're, we're really gonna use and focus on. I'm gonna move her out the way. And um, so once you cut that, we're going to work with this, okay? Now, before we get started with um, working with that, we're going to need some skewers. You can use these skewers or you can use some dowels. And I have some bigger dowels um, in here. In here. Um, I have these dowels here. So you can use either or. I chose to use this um skewers for this okay so on the dowel this is how it looks on the dowel if you want to use the dowels kind of thick okay um but for this particular baby i i like to use the skewers because it's got these little sharp pieces and i think they'll work good going down in the styrofoam so we'll, we'll use that We're gonna turn her over and we're gonna provide a little support um, by using some tape. I'm just gonna use some transparent tape. And I'm just gonna take this area for some added security. And then I'm just gonna do a piece here, and a long piece here, just for added security. So what you don't want to do is for your thing to fall apart when you at the shower, okay? So this is our girl. You see her? She's beautiful, right? Okay, so now I'm going to take 
You can use two. You can use one. It's up to you. Uh, personally, one is fine. Usually holds up. So I'm just going to use one. You can do two if you want to. And choose how um, long you want it. Me, personally, I think that one is fine. So I'm just going to use one. And you measure about where you want it. Now, I would typically say you could hot glue this down. It's a little bit messy. So we're just going to use this transparent tape and get her in place. I'm going to put a piece of tape right here in the middle. These are such super easy um, party center pieces that you can use, you guys, for all kind of occasions, paper crafts, uh, to make beautiful centerpieces. Um, you can use them for the baby showers, the wedding showers. You can do them for weddings. You could do them for graduation, which is right around the corner, birthday parties, any type of celebratory event. And it doesn't have to just use, have to be these beautiful little girls, these little babies. It could be the little boys. It could be any type of design that your imagination will allow you to create. So I am just making sure that I am getting it very secured. And I'm gonna put one more piece right here. Like I said, you want it to be stable as possible. Now, and also, if you're really concerned about, um, let's see, I didn't want that right there. Where did I want that? But if you're really concerned about um, the back of it, you can also take um, a second layer of cut out and just glue it down on top of that so that it'll have more of a cleaner look if that matters to you that much and place it on top. Um, it probably would be a little bit elevated, but you know, it's all a personal um, preference thing. This is for personal use here for my um, event that we're having for. Um, a baby shower. Okay. So, this is how it looks. And it's got the little stick. Now, it is ready to stand up on whatever it is that we will be standing it up on, which will be this here. Okay. So, um, you can decide what side you want to use as your front back or whatever like i said it's not always um measured out straight but we're gonna use this side so we're just gonna stick it straight down in the middle wherever you want it and you want to get it down in there good okay so you get it in there and she can stick up like that okay so once you're happy with her sticking up, the next thing we're going to do is take our flowers, the colors that you want. Now these are just some little um, polyester little flowers from the Dollar Tree. Um, they are carnations, in case you're interested in knowing. And we're just going to pull them off. You decide about how much you're going to use. And you pull them off like this. Now you can just clip them, but I like to just bend them a couple of times back and forth. And then get loose. So then when I know it's loose and the wire is broke, I clip right there. That way I don't damage my scissors. And you're gonna do take all the flowers apart and pretty much do that. Because we're going to take these flowers. And you already know what we're going to do, right? We're going to stick them in this styrofoam block. So we're going to do that with the pink. And we're going to do it also with the white. And any other color combination that you may have. 
we're just using pink and white for this particular project. take your flower and you're gonna stick it right or you can start here you can stick it up top you're gonna stick it up top all the way around and you're gonna stick it on the sides all the way around okay so we're gonna start here this is how it's flexing it fills that up I'm gonna put one on the side some on the side down below and um then we're just gonna fill it up and i'll be back when i'm done okay so this is the babies assembled and if i turn one of them around you can see how it looks um, in the back. You could, I ran out of flowers, but it'll do. You could put more flowers in it if you like. Like I said, you could put another um, layer to cover this um, board up if you also like. One more smoother look. And I may do that. I may actually do that. But for right now, for video purposes, this is pretty much how it's going to finish um, licking. I did get a strip of bling here. And I'm going to take that little strip of bling. I cut a little piece just small like that and I'm going to um, add a bracelet to the baby's little wrist I think it would be so cute if I put a little um, bracelet there so we're going to glue that on and if you look up at this angle you can't really tell that line of demarcation in the um, babies this one actually is when I did it um, double thick and didn't split that little piece to make it flush I did do it with this one. So you can see that this one is a better fit than this one here. So um, definitely don't skip that step if you're gonna do it um, step from step on how I'm, I did this one. Make sure that you split that. And better yet, don't even just, don't even, when you're in the Cricut, if you're using the limited space and you're doing it in Cricut design space, be sure to make sure that you um maybe find a different place to cut it like maybe cut it down this way perhaps because then you could also add a break a bling bracelet to cover that up or whatever okay so yeah but you get an idea and here's another one that i did um but i didn't i decided to go with these babies here but here's another baby that i also did and i did a outline behind her because her hair is so intricate cut um it's really hard for Cricut to cut little pieces like that. They can, but it's, it could be time consuming. So I did like a little um, offset behind her. I love this one. I love the way she looks. I love them both, but yeah. So you can see her line of demarcation I did was right here. Right here on her dress. It's, you know, places where you can't really tell. And she's on the dowel. Um, she would be used in another project. And this is how the back of that look. And I didn't, you know, complete it. But this is how the back of that look. So, yeah, this is this is very sturdy. This gives you an idea of things that you can do and can make um, for events, okay? So, I'll probably sit these on center on the um, tables or somewhere within the shower the baby shower we'll sit those in this is a princess thing baby shower so this is a perfect little um project and it didn't cost anything because all i had to do was buy 
um, the flowers pretty much. Everything else I had on hand. Um, I had styrofoam blocks, but you can get those from the dollar store. The flowers are from the dollar store. This paper uh, cardstock I already had here, um, but I originally purchased it from, I believe it was Staples um, a while back. So uh, you will need cardstock and of course a printer. So yeah, and I got the design off of Etsy. So all right, you guys, thank you so much for watching. Um, stay tuned for more videos and to be notified of all new videos, make sure that you subscribe to the channel and turn your post notification bell so that I let you know when I'm uploading a new video. All right, you guys, see you later. Bye.